<laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That's filthy. That is filthy. Hello, 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 everybody. My name is The Humble Gamer, and welcome back to SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated Part 8. So, you might be wondering why I am in downtown Bikini... Wait, no, I'm not in downtown Bikini Bottom. I'm in Bikini Bottom. Jesus. You might be wondering why I'm in Bikini Bottom uh, after ending the very last episode in Goo Lagoon. Well, it is because I have made the decision to go back on what I said about collecting everything in the game and to pick up all the socks that I have missed so far before Goo Lagoon because I have now practiced through Goo Lagoon and I don't know where every single sock is, but I know where most of them are. So we can go back and collect the rest of those later. But for now, we do have some socks that we need to collect so we're going to start here and then i'll start cutting because we're going to need to take some journeys to get to the rest of them uh this was a sock that i for some reason just completely bypassed even though i should have remembered that there was a sock in every one of these houses uh but there you go there is a sock right here in patrick's own house so that's a bit weird that patrick has a sock in his own house and he'll take it from us for a spatula but hey that's just how stupid patrick is i guess uh, well anyway uh we're gonna go into jellyfish fields now and i will meet you where the next sock can be found okay we're here so this is just uh the end of the first area of jellyfish fields when you get up here where these uh, bouncy flowers are so there's a sock usually over there we already collected that one but one that i completely forgot about is that you have to bounce in this direction up here and there's one just sitting right at the top of these tiki's and i just completely forgot about this one um ooh, uh, careful there we go all right so now we've got one more sock in jellyfish fields uh i will meet you at the next one. Oh, actually uh before i do go to the next one uh, this down here we can't get yet still, but that is a sock there. So there are socks we definitely will still have to come back for. Uh, I'm only collecting the socks today that I can collect that I've missed so far. Um, but, you know, that's just because I've changed my mind and I want to collect all the socks. Okay, so the next sock is a bit of a difficult one. Uh, you have to come to this area of Jellyfish Fields and you have to, if you've already done it at least, you have to change into Patrick at the stop over there. And you have to bring Patrick all the way back to the very start of Jellyfish Fields. So I will meet you there. Oh, we, we use these cardboard boxes to get back there, by the way, just so you know. Okay, so this is where you have to bring Patrick. There's the beginning of the level right over there. And we have to bring him all the way back from that area to here. Because there's a sock just sitting right out there in the middle of the bloody water. I mean, Jesus Christ, man. It's just sitting right there in the middle of the water. And you have to bring Patrick all the way here to get it. Boop. There we go. That's another sock achieved. And now we just uh, jump back up on land. Nice and easy. There we go. Alright, and now I will meet you at, uh, at the next one. Okay, so for this next sock, you have to come in, into the caves as Patrick and come all the way here. Uh, and we have to just do the following. We have to just throw the, the watermelon as normal for the first jump here. And then instead of taking this watermelon and throwing it on top of this watermelon, we take this watermelon and throw it on top. Not on that Not on that one, Patrick. What are you doing? No, we take this one and we throw it on top of this one right here. And then we Where double jump on there and boom, you've got your next sock. All right, on to the next one. Huh, that's weird. I hadn't realized that before, but you can actually see the last area of Jellyfish Fields over there. Look, you can actually see the shower on top where you fight King Jellyfish. That's really weird. Oh, that's a cool thing. This one goes oh shit, I just got a fucking achievement called Star Smasher. I was not expecting that. Okay, so for the last sock, at least for now anyway, the other two socks in the level I can't collect till we have moves that we don't have yet, uh, it's on this slide here. So we just have to basically jump to the left uh, once we get down to sort of the curvature down here. There should be an offset. No, that's no. No, it was up there. Oh, god damn it. All right, hold on. All right, so as it turns out, we just have to wait a teeny bit longer to jump off there. But once we've jumped off, it's just a, a short skip and a jump around the corner here. And boom. We have our final sock in this level for now. The other two socks left over, we will come back for pretty much at the end of the game. I'm pretty much going to do that with any sock that requires uh, late game moves. Wow, I've got one life left, alright. 
But yeah, that's it. That's every single sock in uh, Jellyfish Fields, practically. The other two are very easy to get. We will get them when we come back later. Uh, so I'm going to head to downtown Bikini Bottom now and get those socks. Alright, so a sock I stupidly missed in downtown Bikini Bottom, which I fucking looked at multiple times during my video, uh, is right there at the bottom of that slide. So we just jump over from this platform over here. We don't even need to go all the way around. And boom, there we go. Another sock, uh, and that is seven out of nine. So I think there's one more we can get, and then the other one I believe might be in the pin tower, but we'll find out. Okay, I'm not sure, but I think I might have actually forgotten the sock that's in here. So what you do when you're done with this is you're supposed to press that button, and you're supposed to just jump up on these things all the way to the tippy top, and there's supposed to be a sock, yeah, right up here. Okay. Well, there you go. I guess I, uh, I guess I kind of forgot that that sock was there. I got it in my practice playthrough, and I think like because of that, I for for forgot I hadn't picked it up in my actual playthrough. So uh, I think that is actually, yeah, that is, uh, I believe every sock. I'm going to find out where the last one is. If it's in the pin tower, then that's pretty much every sock, and we've caught ourselves up to Goo Lagoon. So hold on. All right, yeah, apparently that is every single sock uh, that we can get for now. The last sock in uh, downtown Bikini Bottom is in the pin tower, and you need the, uh, or the, the needle, the sea needle, uh, and you need the uh, last move in the game for that. So, yeah, that's it. Now we can go back to Goo Lagoon and carry on from where we left off last episode. Actually, you know what? While I'm in downtown Bikini Bottom, I'm just going to square this spatula away. So, I was actually correct. You do have to destroy every single tiki in all three of the windows in this place to get the spatula from Mr. Krabs here. I'm going to tell you one thing before I actually do this off camera and then get the spatula on camera. Um, these wow. bungee jump Everyone things like can be really so fucking happy. awkward. Uh, sometimes these these uh, boxes will just sort of fall just out of reach of your diving distance. Uh, like that one has at the bottom there. I don't know what causes that, but the only way to fix it is by jumping off the bungee and jumping back on. I'm just telling you that to save you the hassle if you think that you can reach it when you can't and you spend ages trying to reach it and wondering what's wrong. That is what's going on. It just sometimes won't let you reach them and you have to uh, jump off and jump back on again. But yeah, anyway, with that said, I'm going to get all these tiki's and then uh, and then I'll, I'll come back when I've got the spatula. Good work, boy. Here's oh, okay. the spatula, like I promised. The hell? I thought you had to do it at all three windows. Okay, I only did two windows there and suddenly uh, Mr. Krabs is giving me the spatula. Uh, okay, cool. Well, there you go. There's that spatula. Uh, and now we're done. Now we can go back to Goo Lagoon. I'll see you guys there. Alrighty then, now we are back where I left off at the end of the last episode before I decided to go collect all the bloody socks and, of course, pick up that spatula I also missed in the last episode. Uh, but yeah, now we can continue on uh, with uh, uh, Goo Lagoon uh, and this entire series as well. Uh, I, I, do you know I've been thinking about how much I've done so far and I keep I keep thinking that this game's going to end up being really short but I think all it is is I'm just confusing um, how few worlds there seems to be because there's only nine with how long each of them takes because so far we're on we're, we're on to finish the first three worlds by episode 10 which makes me think I'm going to finish this entire playthrough by uh wait hold on What? Thank Why did I just... The children are safe. Why did I get a spatula? Mrs. Puff, are you mad? The children aren't safe. They're still floating around on the balloons. Look. Look, they're still there. Okay, that is weird. Okay. Um, so... I have no idea what just happened there. I noticed that when I was practicing yesterday, actually, right? I was loading into Goo Lagoon, and it was uh, popping up with the message, all kids are safe. And I, I was wondering what that was about, whether that was a glitch or something. On my other profile, I did this mission where you've got to, uh, basically, you've got to go around and you've got to press triangle under the kids to free them. And you're supposed to do that with every single child here. There's only like four or five of them. Um, and you get a spatula for it. For some reason, she's just giving me the spatula without actually doing the mission on this save file. Like, are the save files combined or something? I, I have no idea what's happened there, but I'll, I'll show you where the kids are anyway. 
just so that you don't um, get lost, I guess, when trying to find out where these kids are. Uh, oh, right, we've got to wait. And there we go, there's another one. There's another one, as uh, Sandy says sometimes when she's doing her thing. Oh my god, man. I was not expecting that when I started this. Oh shit, ah, ah, I'm falling. I'm falling. I've fallen. Oh shit, I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> Good grief, man. I'm going nuts. Um, all right, well anyway, uh, I've got plenty of stuff to talk about. Uh, I have just fucked up because uh, I didn't put the timer on, which is not good uh, because I, I need to stop at about 12 or 13 minutes for this clip. There we go. All right, there's there's the balloon. I don't know why I'm doing these fucking balloon kids. Uh, I've, already, I've already got the spatula, but I've got to show you guys where they are, I guess. So, All right, there we go. There's another sock. Sock number 16. Let's try and talk about something, huh? I've spent like eight minutes of this video doing the bloody socks and now I'm just rambling. Although to be fair, this is a completely different day that I'm recording this segment for this video. So uh, after this, we'll be recording a proper episode, I should hope. Uh, but you know, I, I just feel like continu continuing what I was talking about last episode after spending eight minutes hunting for socks is probably not the best idea. Um, I, I suppose this is probably a good thing anyway, with this with this glitch ever present, it might as well just spend the time going around collecting the kids and wasting the time doing that so you guys get to see where the kids are. Um, still will never understand why that is a thing. Uh, oh baby, okay. There we go, alright. That's all five children. There you go, and they sort of just fly over to where Mrs. Puff is. Um, so that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to rescue all of those kids and then come over here to Mrs. Puff and then she gives you the spatula. But uh, for some reason, she did it without actually collecting the kids. I don't really understand that very much, but all right, I guess that's something that you just wanted to do, huh, Miss Puff? You just wanted to give me a free spatula. Okay. <laughs> let me say, let me tell you, let, mm, fuck's sake. Let me at least say one bloody story for God's sakes. You know, me sitting here just rambling on about this glitchy nonsense that's happening. Um, I've got plenty of stuff to talk about. Uh, I think I mentioned this before, but the Kubrick collection, I, I think I might have mentioned that I bought it. Um, I actually picked it up. It came through the post. Um, and it's really good. It's every single film that uh, Stanley Kubrick made. And I, I do like Kubrick's films. I mean, some of them are a bit dark, I'll be, I'll be honest. But I do like them. Um, and I do, I do like have massive respect for Kubrick as uh, as a filmmaker. He was, he he was an absolute legend, and he 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 was. Uh, I, I like to say, this is, this could be a, uh, offensive to some people, but he was he was autistically good at his job. Like he knew what he wanted from everyone and everything that he did. Uh, he would spend months upon months just indoors writing perfecting whatever story he was trying to tell before he even bothered to call up like other producers and actors and you know who, who, and he knew who he wanted he knew what he wanted you know so you, you got to admire a guy like that who, who knows exactly what he's after um, but he, I just I, I admired it so much I, I thought you know is there a collection of every Kubrick film looked it up turns out there was found one bought it and it's uh, all eight films that he produced uh, plus a documentary about his career, which uh, I'm excited to watch actually. I'm probably going to watch that this evening. So I'm pretty excited. Um, okay, we're at three minutes. I'm going to stop about 10 minutes for this. Uh, I'm going to try and get through this sand castle. If I had a castle, I'd name it Fort Patty Town the Third. And Fort Patty Town the Third would have a big bake sale every Monday. Um. The golden spatula? Oh, at the top of the sand castle. Right. That should be easy to reach. Well, perhaps you should see for yourself. Okay, right. I, so I thought I'd be quiet there for a moment because I've been rambling on now for about fucking... I don't even know how long, like five minutes. But uh, I put my headphones on for probably what is the first time in this whole playthrough so far here in part A. Uh, I just want to listen to the music a bit, you know, get a bit nostalgic. I've missed out on the music of Downtown Bikini Bottom and Jellyfish Fields for the most part. Um, but yeah, so this this uh, sandcastle here, let me explain this. 
Uh, it starts to fill up with water when you press that button and you basically just gotta like work your way up through it. But we can just skip over here and if we wait here for the water to get to its uh, limit, there we go, wait for it to get to its limit, throw an ice ball on it, and we can come over here and get this sock right here. And we can also skip out and, and come over here to see, like this. Perfect. All right. Uh, oh, do you know what? Actually, I've just remembered that there is a side thing we can do next to this sandcastle, but you have to... I, I can't remember the original way to get there. I used to bring the ice thing over and turn the water into ice outside the castle. Um, but what I did in my practice playthrough was I just jumped down from here to get to it. So, yeah, let's just open that up. And uh, there's a spatula around here, so we'll go pick that up. And then hopefully we'll finish the castle by the time this uh, this episode is done. And then next episode we can just get back to the normal commentary. I've thrown myself off by, like, waiting a day to... Um, uh, to carry on doing this, to be honest. But you know what, when I was recording yesterday's videos, uh, or, or when I was recording the clips yesterday of me going around collecting the socks, uh, it was like gone 10 o'clock at night. Uh, all of my American friends were celebrating the 4th of July and my dad was out drinking. Um, not to celebrate the 4th of July, but you know, it was the first day in like three and a half, four months that the pubs had been open. Uh, and he wanted to go out and socialize with some friends of his at the pub, so. He went out to do that, all my American friends were celebrating the 4th of July, and I'm just sitting there on my Jack Jones. And I thought, you know what, I'll just, uh, I'll, 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 I'll get on and, and do some of the uh, socks that I uh, missed out on, because I don't... I mean, I, I, I did want to just leave it, but then I realised that, you know, it's not actually that hard to pick up the socks if you know where they are. And I didn't know where they were, so I looked them up, and I thought, you know... I'll just pick them up as I go along. Like, if I, if I pick up the ones I've missed now, if I get it done and out of the way this episode, then uh, then in the next episode, I don't have to worry about it. Um, and then, and then of course, I, um, I can just sort of keep track as time goes on. So with Goo Lagoon, I can just collect the socks I know about, and then perhaps, if there's time at the end of this video, or perhaps before we move on in the next video, I could pick up any socks I missed. You know, just keep keep track of it as I go, basically. I feel like that'd be a good idea. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're reaching up to 10 minutes now, so let's try and do this castle before uh, before time runs out here. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say, man. I'm lost. I'm lost. Lost in the source, you know, as that old meme goes. And boom, there we go, all right. Get fucked. Robot go boom. All right, let's skip around here. Oh, I love how the fire still comes out of the ice from that guy there, even though you've iced the place up. Ah, uh, yeah, this fucking thing is where I've got to kill this. Um, oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, okay, now we have to go around to do that. All right. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Do you know, I, I, I haven't ever collected every sock in Battle for Bikini Bottom. and that's another thing. Like, I might as well... Oh, shit, I, I'm not SpongeBob. I might as well mention that while I've got the opportunity. Yeah, I, I've never actually... Um, got on every sock. I've seen the uh, the all sock ending. There's like there was a special ending which is like a special animation of all the characters uh, singing the SpongeBob theme song. And I saw that but I, I never got it myself. Because I'm a lazy fuck. <laughs> Couldn't be bothered to get all the socks. And also because I didn't know where they all were. I don't think I've ever known where all the socks in the game are. Alright there we go. 22 spatulas. Hooray. Alright. Awesome. Uh, I think after I've got this here, I'm gonna I'm gonna end this episode and uh, and try to get back on track in the next one. So yeah, over here, jump up here. There's another sock. There's literally two socks on this sandcastle. How about that? Wee! Look at all of that damage. All right. Well, there you go. That's that. Uh, so in the next episode, then we can head into that cave there, and through there is the carnival. So. Uh, that's pretty much going to be the end of Goo Lagoon. Like, Goo Lagoon's really short, all things considered. Like, two episodes, practically, and we'll be done. Uh, two episodes, well, I mean, if you took the seven minutes out at the beginning of this episode and replaced it with the, with the few minutes I did in the uh, episode prior to that, then, um, well, I, I, think, I think it'd be about two episodes worth. But anyway, I'm good. Uh, thank you very much for watching this episode. I hope it wasn't too 
crazy for you. Um, eight minutes of fucking going backtracking and then another 12 minutes of me rambling like a bloody idiot. Um, next episode, we'll talk about some shit. See you guys then. Bye-bye. <laughs>